Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial Functional Analysis Class Number 9. In this video, we we'll learn one definition and one theorem. Let us see the definition. Norm of a bounded linear transformation. Norm of a bounded linear transformation. Let us take capital N and N dash be two normed linear spaces and capital T maps n into n dash be a bounded linear transformation. Bounded linear transformation means bounded linear transformation means norm t of x less than or equals to k for some positive integer k greater than 0 and for all x belongs to capital N. So bounded linear transformation means norm t of x is always less than or equals to k. So, right. Now, we define the norm of t as follows. Norm t is equals to supremum of norm t of x such that x belongs to capital N and norm x less than or equals to 1. This norm is known as operator norm. This norm is known as operator norm. One of the important definition, you observe that. In the next theorem, we learn the different forms of this norm. I, I repeat the definition, observe that. Capital N and N dash be any two normed linear spaces. Capital T maps N into N dash be a bounded linear transformation. The norm of T is defined as norm T is equals to supremum of norm T of X where x belongs to the capital N and norm x less than or equals to 1. This norm is known as operator norm. Now let us see the theorem. The statement of the theorem is like this. Capital N and N dash be two normed linear spaces and capital T be a bounded linear transformation from N into N dash and define three different terms. Small a is equals to supremum of norm T of x where norm x is equals to 1, b is equals to supremum of norm t of x by norm x, where x belongs to n and x not equals to 0, and c is equals to infimum, such infimum of set of elements k, where k greater than or equals to 0, and you observe that this is important, norm t of x is less than or equals to k into norm x, for all x belongs to capital N. Now you have to prove that, now you have to prove that norm t is equals to norm a, norm t is equals to a is equals to b is equals to c. Further you have to show that one inequality norm t of x less than or equals to norm t norm x for all x belongs to capital N. So right, we prove the theorem now. Let us see. Let capital N and n dash b to normed linear spaces to normed linear spaces capital t maps n into n dash be a bounded be a bounded linear transformation be a bounded linear transformation that the norm of this linear transformation the norm of t is defined as the norm of t is defined as as follows norm t is equals to supremum of norm t is equals to supremum of norm t of x such that x belongs to capital n comma norm x is equals to 1 this is the definition of norm t now in the statement, we have three different definitions. One is A and the second one is B and the definition C. What is the definition of C? Let us see. By definition of C, we have. By definition of C, we have. The C is given by infimum of K such that K greater than or equals to 0, comma, norm T of X less than or equals to K into norm X. For all x belongs to capital N. This condition shows, I mean, the definition of C shows, norm T of x is less than or equals to C into norm x. C into norm x. Because C is infimum. 
C is infimum. Then obviously C is infimum of this whole set. C is infimum of this whole set. It means C is always greater than or equals to K. Therefore, norm T of X is less than or equals to C into norm X for all X belongs to capital N. Now we assume that if norm X is equals to 1, if what happens if norm X is equals to 1? If norm X is equals to 1, then obviously we have norm T of X is less than or equals to C. Norm T of X is less than or equals to C for all X belongs to capital N. So, right, norm T of X less than or equals to C means supremum of norm T of X, supremum of norm T of X such that X belongs to capital N, comma norm X is equals to 1 is also less than or equals to C, is also less than or equals to C because norm T of X is less than or equals to C, then its supremum is also less than or equals to C. So, right, which implies this condition implies norm T is less than or equals to C. Let it be equation number 1. Norm T is nothing but this set. This set is nothing but norm T. So, right. So, norm T is less than or equals to C from this above set. So, equation 1. Right. By definition of B and C. By definition of small b and C. It is clear that. It is clear that. C less than or equals to B. C less than or equals to B. Let it be equation number 2. Let it be equation number 2. Obviously, from the definition of C, C is infimum. C is infimum. But and B is supremum. C is infimum and B is supremum. So, obviously, C less than or equals to B. Now, we go for further calculation. Suppose, if x not equals to 0. If x not equals to 0, then what happens? Norm t of x divided by norm x is equals to norm t of norm t of x by norm x. Norm t of x by norm x. And you observe that x by norm x e has x by norm x has norm 1. Has norm 1. Thus, we conclude that from this equality, we conclude that we conclude that we conclude that from or by using by using not from by using definitions of B and C by using definitions of B and C B less than or equals to C sorry not C B less than or equals to A. From the definitions of B and A, we conclude that B is less than or equals to A. Let it be equation number 3. Equation number 3. Now, you observe that first equation, norm T less than or equals to C. Second equation, C less than or equals to B. Third equation, B less than or equals to A. So, right, we go for one more calculation. But trivially, by definition of A, by definition of A, Trivially, trivially, small a is less than or equals to norm t. Because what is small a? Small a is equals to supremum. Small a is equals to supremum. If you remove the word supremum, then obviously a is less than or equals to norm t. a is less than or equals to norm t. Let it be equation number 4. Equation number 4. Combining equations combining equations 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 we get norm t is less than or equals to c is less than or equals to b is less than or equals to a is less than or equals to norm t now you observe that the funny thing the lower limit is norm t the upper limit is also norm t hence we conclude that from this one we conclude that from this one norm t is equals to a is equals to b is equals to c further this is the first condition we show one inequality further by definition of b further by definition of b what is norm t of x norm t of x divided by norm x is less than or equals to b is less than or equals to b 
and this b is equals to norm t this b is equals to norm t by using this condition so this condition implies as norm t of x divided by norm x is less than or equals to norm t by cross multiplication you have norm t of x is less than or equals to norm t into norm x this is true for all x belongs to capital n this is true for all x belongs to capital n you observe that we prove the required two things this is first one norm t is equals to norm t is equals to a is equals to b is equals to c and norm t of x is less than or equals to norm t into norm x so you observe this from this theorem you must learn one thing the norm of the bounded linear transformation the norm of the bounded linear transformation defined in this way norm t is equals to norm t is equals to supremum of set of norm t of x such that x belongs to capital n and norm x less than or equals to 1 is called an operator form and it has different forms this norm has different forms all this one a it can be represented in a form it can be represented like b it can be represented like c that's why we prove that here the condition we prove the finally we prove that in the theorem norm t is equals to a is equals to b is equals to c it means the norm of the bounded linear transformation has three different forms one is a the second one is b the second and third one is c so in the in the next video we learn one more theorem wish you all the best keep learning